Jackson Radio Show. Welcome, everybody. Kevin Jackson there, 844-551-8255 if you want to call us, kjradio.com. On Facebook, we got up the other morning. My social media guy, Kirk, says to me, Kevin, our page is gone. So I go to theblacksphere.net and I go, dude, our page is there. And then I start poking around on Facebook and there's this note that says, page not here or something like that. And I was like, what? So then it dawns on me, Kurt's telling me, my Facebook page is gone. 560,000 something people. We're losing 20 people a day on Facebook. Are you aware of this? I am a national figure. I don't say that braggingly, but I'm a national figure who writes all the time, is on multiple radio shows, has my own show, and Facebook has me losing 20 people a day. I used to have 5,000 people a day who joined my site. Now I lose 20 people per day. And I'm talking about posting, engaging, you name it. So we get up, the page is gone. I'm livid. What did we violate? I got nothing in the email, nothing that said I violated anything. So I call my web guys. I say, what the heck's going on? They go, this is unusual, Kev. I'm like, really? He says, so he gets on the phone with Facebook and the girl goes, oh, geez, I'm not sure. Have you checked mobile? So we check mobile. The page is still up. Now, I'm still getting other indicators. It doesn't seem like I'm dead, but you can't get to my page. People are sending me notes on other mediums going, Kevin. Uh, we can't get to you. What's going on with your page? What's happening? And I'm just as, you know, I'm not panicked, but I'm like, well, this is crazy. So my guy says, yeah, I'm on the phone with Facebook right now. And they find it unusual. It, uh, their system shows that you're still on. And I'm like, well, see, there's part of the problem. I'm shadow banned to the point where Facebook doesn't even know that my page is gone. And I've been asking, why am I not at 5 million? I know Alan West is a popular guy, but I'm pretty doggone popular. And I don't have the number of people Alan has. And even if I had 60%, I'd be at 3 million. Why is it that I, at the rate I was growing, I should be at three and a half to 4 million easy on Facebook. And I'm at 560,000 losing 20 people per day. That's crazy. So they get me reinstated. But here's why I'm telling you guys this. If you want to keep up with me, you will have two choices. One, you go directly to the blacksphere.net or KJ radio, or you join me at Tea Party Community, which is going to be my social media network where my page will not disappear. Because let me tell you something. Google and Facebook have a cabal. They control 75% of the ad revenue that guys like me produce in order to fund ourselves. That's why I lose money at radio because I can make it up elsewhere. But they give us toe fungus and leeches and all this crazy stuff that you look at on our pages and go, who in the world would possibly want this crap? And it's barely paying the bills. But you go look at some leftist hate site and they've got Lexuses and, and vacations with Caribbean this or that cruise lines and what have you. It's obvious what they're doing. They are trying to economically chase us out of business and their whole model is failing because you know why we are the people who buy stuff. One of my friends is trying to start a network that he could do. I said, man, just start a network because he says, Kevin, the other 25% is owned with somebody worse than Google. Another leftist group. It's 100% controlled by leftist. They don't like what you say. They don't let you monetize. So I said, why can't you call Hobby Lobby? Why can't you call Chick-fil-A? A few other, you know, very conservative companies and say, look, we will run your ads throughout our network. Start there. And then let's go find others. We got to start solving our problems, folks, not just, you know, talking about them and lamenting about them. I've known Facebook's been trying to crush me. I don't come on here and complain every day. We have tried workarounds, workarounds upon workarounds, and we hold our own. And I've watched other people, you, you, you know, they do all kinds of crazy stuff, click bait and whatever, and they make crazy money. We don't do that. We're going to give you what we think works the best for you we i believe in you as the consumer that you'll make the right choices but we can't do it by ourselves we need help anyway i just want to give you an idea of what's going on waking up and finding out that years of effort could be gone in an instant if you want to be able to reach out to me and have high touch with me 
you got to go to Tea Party Community. You got to go to KJ Radio and you got to let other people know because one of these days that page could be gone. I mean, I'm going to die one day and the page is going to go. But the, the company and the legacy will live on because people will still run things in that respect. But to, to watch a lot of work, a body of work go because somebody arbitrarily says, I don't like what you're saying. I think is un-American to the height. That's why Facebook and Twitter and Google find themselves on Capitol Hill having to ask tough questions. And I hope during the time of Obama, somebody of time of Obama. Oh, God, forgive me for that. The time of Trump, that somebody sues all these guys and, and takes them to court and makes them have to pay outrageous amounts of money for the things that they do. That's what needs to happen. Hey, how about those Muslims? Do they know how to throw a Halloween party or what? Man, woo, New York must be really happy that they've integrated all these non-radical Muslims that can no longer be surveilled in their mosque and all that other stuff into their into the whole culture of it all, right? Yeah, that's what you should be asking these people. You should be asking leftists the tough questions. Kids were getting ready to go. New Yorkers were getting ready to celebrate Halloween in whatever form you like. I, I did it, went out, you know, trick-or-treating around here with my son, family. And we didn't have any incidents, but New York did. New York had a guy that decided he's going to run over a bunch of people and left this one. They say Donald Trump wants to politicize the attack. (laughs) Really? So before the attack, when Donald Trump said, I want to issue an executive order that prevents Muslims from bad countries from coming in. Was that politicizing the attack? Or was that doing what he is supposed to do constitutionally, which is to protect American citizens from all enemies, foreign and domestic? Because that's the way I read it. Do you guys remember what Chuck Schumer said about Trump? We'll, we'll play it in a bit. When he did the EO, executive order. How dare Trump not let this crisis go to waste? That's what I'd be saying. Look, Donald Trump isn't seeing this as a crisis. He isn't seeing, he isn't looking at this through the prism of Barack Obama and the, the, the leftist ilk. He sees this as a problem. This is a recurring problem. See, business people look at recurring problems and say, how do I stop them from recurring? They look at it pragmatically. Donald Trump doesn't see a, this is Muslims versus Americans. He sees terrorists versus America. And he's look, as he digs deeper into the problem, he sees that the majority of these terrorists happen to be Muslims. Cuomo mentions gun control when guns weren't even used except to stop the Muslims. That, that, that little crow tasted pretty bad, I bet you. And there was de Blasio right next to him calling a press conference so they could beat up on Donald Trump, the president of the United States, who was saying, I've been trying to tell you guys we need to protect ourselves from radical Islam. And they're saying he's politicizing it because that's how the left looks at things. When you try to do things right, it's politics. This is the Kevin Jackson Radio Show.